I am here today to talk about Google Chrome profiles and uh, so many things to tell you. I use them every day, all the time. Those of us who like to stay organized have a work bag and a beach bag that stay separate. What do Google Chrome profiles have to do with your work bag and your beach bag? Stick around to find out. Hello, I'm Amy Novick, a professional organizer, Google certified trainer, and productivity specialist. I empower business owners with Google solutions. I increase their efficiency and save them money by using the tools they already pay for within Google Workspace. Every week I hear, I didn't know Google could do that. This foundational system allows you to start and grow your business so you can make time and create space for what you value most. Comment below with your questions about Google Workspace and what you love about it already. Hit that subscribe button to get notified about more Google tips in the future and help us get to our first 1,000 subscribers. Before we get started, I want to make sure you get some time-saving tips immediately, so be sure to click the link below to get time-saving hacks for small business owners. What is a Google Chrome profile? So when you're using the Chrome browser, in the upper right, there is a little picture or um, an icon or uh, letters of your name. And that tells you which account you are logged into Chrome with. Just like you log into your Google account, you can log into a Chrome browser. If you haven't logged in, it's sort of a blank canvas, you're considered a guest. But if you log in with a certain account, then it's it can save some information in that account with you and that is very helpful. So when I think about Chrome profiles, my main goal is to keep my work account and my personal account separate and actually also my volunteering account so that those three things are three totally separate kind of buckets. And I think about them like my work bag and my beach bag. I don't really want, you know, sand in my computer and I don't really want to think about work while I'm sitting on the beach. So I don't want my computer in my beach bag and I don't want the sand from the beach in my work bag. I want these things completely separate. So Chrome profiles are kind of like those work bags in the beach bag and it keeps them separate. When you use the top image, so sometimes when you log into Google, um, there's an image in the top, like sort of URL bar, and that's the image I'm talking about. If you use, um, if you switch accounts with the lower image, you're actually just switching like what book you're reading, not which bag the book is in. So we really wanna think about the bigger picture um, and the top icon when you're switching Chrome profiles. When you use that, a whole new browser window opens up and that means that you're going into that other bag. You're opening a different bag. You are moving from the work bag to the beach bag or the volunteer bag. So again, using the top icon to switch profiles means that your browser window is going to open up and that is going to get you into that separate bag or bucket to keep things very separate. Mm -hmm. Number three, when you are in that new bag or bucket, you can save your passwords and your bookmarks. My passwords for Amazon is different for work than it is for personal and for volunteering. Each one of those has an Amazon account, but I need a different login and password. So therefore I wanna save my login and password um, for each of them in a separate browser window so that I don't get those passwords and logins confused. Same goes with bookmarks, right? I need different websites for work than for personal. So I wanna keep those separated as well. Number four, you can also save tabs that you use every day and either have them open on the startup. So when you open that browser, all the new tabs that you need for the day start, or you can start where you left off yesterday. So if you close that browser and you're like, ah, I'm done with work, shut down, but then you go back tomorrow and you wanna start right where you left off, you can do that. And those same tabs will just open right back up and you can just literally start where you left off. Just like with everything else with Google or in the cloud, whatever you save in your Chrome profile, right, this online profile can be opened up on any device that has Chrome. 
So if you, you know, get called away really, you know, say you get called away to a client's house and you're like, oh man, the information I need is in my Google Drive or in my email and you don't have your computer with you, you could theoretically log on to the client's computer with your Chrome login and get to your same things. Or you can open it up on your phone and get to the same things that you could because if you've saved everything in that Chrome browser, you can access your Chrome browser, your passwords, your logins, your tabs, all the things from anywhere. You can go to the library and log on to a public computer using that Chrome profile, log in. You just feel like you're sitting at your own computer because all the, the tabs you need, the passwords you need are saved in that Chrome profile. Those are the advantages of using Chrome profiles. I highly recommend Chrome profiles for keeping everything straight, and I am happy to teach you how to do that. Chrome profiles keep your work and personal lives separate. You need to use the top image to switch accounts. Saving your passwords and bookmarks in there is definitely helpful and uh, useful. You can also save tabs that you use every day. And if you do it correctly and you use the Chrome profile at the top, you can get to everything you need from anywhere. If this video was helpful, please like and share this video with other small business owners so they too can become more efficient and empowered with Google solutions and make time and space for what they value most.